So in this video we're going to take a first look at terrain in Ursina. This is particularly useful if you want to create large worlds with minimal effort. Terrain like this will have some limitations though, as there can only be a single terrain height at each x and z coordinate, making caves or cliff overhangs impossible with this method. This terrain works by taking a grayscale image known as a height map and using it to generate a mesh, essentially a model we can plug into an entity to display our terrain. If we want to create a height map image, we just need to go into any image editor and for example, we can make a beautiful uh, mountain range and save that as our height map. While we're at it, we can maybe draw some grass or something and some rocks and save that as a separate texture that we're going to use later. Say you're not as much of an artistic uh, genius as I am, there's other ways to get height maps, such as the software World Machine, and I'll put a link to that in the description. Sorry for the interruption, but as we can see here, only 10% of viewers are subscribed to the channel. I get no money from these anyway, but it really helps boost the videos so more people can find out about this wonderful engine. If you find yourself enjoying the video, you know what to do. Thanks. Now we have our height map, it's actually pretty simple to use. Once we've done all the regular setup in Ursina, we can create our mesh just by calling terrain and assigning it to a variable. We pass it the height map, then we also have the argument skip. What this does is essentially change the resolution of the height map. So setting this to 1 is the highest resolution, whereas increasing it to something like 4 means that a lot of the height map pixels are skipped out so there's less faces that make up the overall mesh. This should create a mesh that has a side length of 1. So we can then pass it to an entity, scale it up a bit, apply a texture, then we have our terrain. Let's just use an editor camera to see how this looks. This is pretty good, but let's say we wanted to walk around our terrain. Let's give it a mesh collider and import our first person controller. And let's run it at uh, 5 FPS. What you see here is a limitation of ray casting when you have a lot of faces like with terrain. The mesh is too complicated for collisions to be done efficiently. Luckily, there is a way around this using the terrain cast script. So that should be the next video. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.